All right, so I'll be honest with you guys, I think this will be a filler video, and basically what that means is I think that I'm going to not make it to a goal here. <laughs> but we don't know. It's very possible. But 243 out of 250 headshots, and then we unlock Damascus Jade. So we need seven headshots, I guess. And then after we get seven headshots, we will equip Damascus Jade and showcase it off. But... It's going to be very questionable, so either way I'm going to upload this video regardless, because honestly I really love the Chimera, and this is going to be the same video like any other video would be, so it'll just be like if we don't get it this game. Hopefully next game, like that's the thing, like whenever I was going for the headshots on this thing, I would always have like people standing still and I would just get like literally like 15 headshots per game. I'm not sure what my total eliminations were when I just checked it there. I'm gonna check. 869. Okay, so we're pretty much on track. I mean, if you've watched any of my other ones, I, I usually get Damascus gold by around a thousand. So yeah, we're kind of on track on what I usually do it at, actually. But um, before, when I wasn't going for him, I mean, I always go for headshots until I get Damascus gold, then I don't care. Because, like, with a weapon like this, especially, like, the recoil is so high. So if you do go for headshots, like, it's kind of just like, like, here, this is what it what it's like. You know, it's pretty high. Granted, I do have the, um, whatever makes this not a burst. So that adds a lot, because like this thing with the burst, burst is still great, honestly. Maybe I should go back to burst, I'm not sure. Though I will say I do love the sound change of taking the burst off. And secondly, the burst made it doable very easily for the hip fire and sliding eliminations, because a burst in this game, or in general, it's just not good for your hip fire or sliding or anything like that. Anything close range pretty much it's not good for. Quad feed. Let's go, we got the quad feed. Okay, so even if we don't get it this game, I don't care now. I mean I do because I just want to get it over with and then I can go back to my favorite weapon, the PP2K. I think maybe what I'll do after I get the Jade is just go for like blue diamond on something which would be the PP2K because that's my favorite. Um, I'm not totally sure though, because I don't really care about Blue Diamond, I really don't. But at the same time, what else is there to do, you know? So, I might like grind the PP2K or something. But it'd be really nice not to like, die a bunch trying to get sliding eliminations and constantly going for like, headshots and all that garbage, you know what I mean? So, it's been a while since I could actually play and like, do what I want to do in that sense, without having to do some stupid challenge on the side. So that'll be cool. Alright, there's another headshot. I may be wrong, but I think I might need like four more. I honestly wasn't counting, but that's my guess. Just out of curiosity. Three more, let's go. Okay. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I still don't know if I'll get it this game. Usually, like, I would say 100%, but ever since I got this close to Damascus Jade, like, I just haven't been able to get headshots. That would have been another... No, it wouldn't have been. My teammate didn't cave my... Like, how were, those, how were none of those headshots right there? Quad feed? I pushed it. I was foolish. I shouldn't have pushed it there. I had more time, but... I, I kind of panicked and choked there a little. Not gonna lie. If I wasn't going for headshots, I probably would have got that. Because my brain was still like aiming specifically to get the headshots as my top priority and not the quad feed. And that's why I don't really go for headshots, because if you actively go for them, it kind of messes with your aim. I don't know how that wasn't a headshot. That guy was literally directly on, my crosshair was literally directly on his head, and he ran directly into my character. 
But um, yeah, so like when you go for headshots, that's why I say I don't really like it unless you're like using a sniper or something. Cause like, like, uh, I, I might have to get one more. There it is, okay. Well, <laughs> it's about freaking time, man. Long overdue, honestly. I, well, not really, I don't know. I don't give a shit about Damascus camos. I say, I say that all the time, I really don't. Even now that I have it, I, I don't feel happy that I have it. I don't feel like I achieved anything. Honestly, I just feel neutral. I just feel nothing. But, I think it is kind of cool that it shifts colors and I will probably use it. I'll probably put it on like the barrels maybe or the stock or maybe like the the mag or the undergrip. I'll incorporate it in with my master camo, see how that looks. Alright, PP2K, Damascus Jade. Hopefully I have it. Okay. It's gonna make me back out. One sec. Like, we unlocked the camo just to not get the camo. It's so sad. Hopefully this fixes it. I believe it does. Somebody... Bro. Don't we get gun game? Are you kidding me? Why, why does this happen to me? Like, somebody explain. Why am I always just so unlucky? We'll give it, like, 10, 15 seconds. Because if I join right away... Well, actually, you know what? Let me do this. What I'll do is we'll click join friends. Because if I click the play button right away, again, it might just put me back into the same lobby, which is obviously not what we want. So let's try this. Okay. Good. Alright, challenge. Damascus Jade. We're going to clear all. Yes, I'm sure. Just for the video, we're going to put this on. And... Go take a look. Let's get our daily free death in on the vid. Uh, where shall we go? I love the I love with the bright green the most. Uh, let's do it right here, I guess. Okay. <laughs> there it is. There's the first one. Now we should be good to do this and not get another death. Alright, so yeah, um, it's always that first time though, I don't get it. But, so yeah, I love how it changes colors. I mean, I'll probably, honestly, use Damascus Jade for a little while. Even without, like, any masteries or anything else, just how it is now. Factory, like this, if you will. So the coolness factor goes away. I said this before I unlocked it. You know, it's like really cool that it changes colors and all that. But then after that, I'll probably just like... You know. Go back to like switching it up with Damascus Jade along with my Mastery Camos. I'll probably always use Damascus Jade. Like I said, I'll probably put it on like the barrel. A couple other things. Panic the quad feed. Alright, so like I would do something like this myself, probably. You know, something like this and that. And then maybe something like this. I'm not sure about the stock. And I'm not sure what this here is, but. Oh. Okay. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, maybe something like this for a while. I don't know. I'll probably change the top because I don't like how the top part there is just all black. Instead, I guess that's just like the Damascus part. So I'll probably change the top. I don't know. We'll figure something out. Right now, I'm not a fan of how this looks 100%. I like the barrel. 
I like how the barrel's the pink color there, but I'm not a fan of how the Damascus there at the top. That has nothing to do with that, right? Yeah. So that's just the Damascus. Unfortunately, I don't like that at the top. But if I change that, it'll probably be like... It'll probably change the whole thing, right? What is that? Okay, it's this one. Interesting. So I might do something like... We'll figure it out, like I said, but we'll leave that, I guess. Hang on. This is so stupid, I know. Or I'm going to stop the video after this anyway. I'm just going to check this out really quick. Because we already showcased Damascus Jade. That's also true. I have Damastery Camos, so we're going to put on Lavender Quartz instead of that one. I'm just not used to that. And then something like this. This is probably what I'll use right here. And then because I'm not a fan of that either, I mean, I'll show you what I mean. I don't like how the blue on the PP2K fits in there like that with the Damascus J, but I'll probably use something like this for a while. You know, very subtle Damascus Jade vibes, but still enough that it's there. This will probably be what I use or something like that. All the weapons look different though. You know, the PP2K obviously doesn't look that sick with it because of that. Um, I'm not a fan of how it has that big, at, that big piece there that's on the Damascus part where the Lavender Quartz is, but I don't like how it looks if I also make that Damascus Jade. So that's a little unfortunate. And then I'll probably put it on the barrel as well. But uh, yeah, so I guess now we just grind the PP2K for a while. But I think this looks pretty cool. I'm happy with this setup here. How there's very subtle Damascus CJ vibes. And not the entire thing. Um, let me check this really quick for you guys. It's weird that there's that many different combos, but yeah. Oh yeah, I think this here is what we'll use right there. Just the subtle green vibes. That looks pretty sick in my opinion. Not sure how I feel about the barrel part. I'll probably take that off and go back to Lavender Quartz, honestly. But yeah, that's Damascus Jade. Hope you guys like it. And uh, not much else to say about that, honestly. <laughs>